Hello everyone and welcome back to Cheesy Code. In this video, we will discuss about ref and out parameters. We will learn what are these and then we will see their differences. So let's get started. So first of all, why we need these parameters? Why actually we need ref and out? So we need these in case we want to return more than one output from a method. As you know that methods have return type, so we can easily get a value from that. But still, apart from that value, if we want some other values to be returned from a method, in that case, we use ref and out parameters. Also, if we want to modify a parameter inside the method and return that modified parameter back to the caller function, then we use ref and out. So generally, when we pass parameters to a method, they are passed as a value. So by this statement, we mean that when we pass parameter to a method, in that case, only the value is propagated inside the method that parameter does not point to the same memory location of the original parameter. But when we use ref and out, then in that case parameter are passed as a reference. Now when we say passed as a reference, in that case when ref and out parameters are passed, they don't point to the value of the parameter. Instead of that, they have the memory location. They refer to the exact variables that are being passed. So if we are passing parameters as ref and out inside a method and we change the values of those parameters, then the value of the actual variables is also changed. This thing doesn't happen in the case of normal parameters. So what exactly are these? What are these ref and out parameters? How to define them? How we can use them? So let us take you to the world of Visual Studio and we'll show you some examples. So this is a very basic console program that I've created inside Visual Studio. Here you can see that there are two methods and these two methods are called by the main method. Now in these two methods, the only difference is that this parameter has this particular keyword, ref keyword. This shows that the parameter it expects is a ref parameter. Now what I'm doing here is, I'm initializing a variable, integer variable with the value of 10. Then I'm calling this add number method, which has normal parameter. And it has a code to increment my number parameter. Similarly, in this method, we have the same code. Now what I'm doing is, first I'm calling the method with normal parameter, then I'm calling the method with the ref parameter. I have written console.writeLine just to check whether the value of number has been changed after the method call or not. Let me run this program. Now the thing to understand is that the method with normal parameter made no change to the variable, but the method with ref parameter incremented the value by one. Why it happened? Because a normal method the value of number is passed, but in case of ref parameter, the memory location of number is passed. So if the value is incremented, it is incremented to the original variable. That is in our case is number variable. So when I printed number variable after this method, it made no change to the variable. But because we had ref parameter inside this, it actually changed the original variable. Now let's see the example of out parameter. So here I've changed some code. To demonstrate the example of out parameter, here I have a method named as rectangle. It has multiple parameters, out of which two are out parameters. So these out parameters work in the same way as ref parameter. The only difference is we don't initialize these parameters. So as you can see, that the area and parameter variables are not initialized. The reason being when we are using out parameters, we expect the method to set the values of these parameters and send those back to the caller. So in our case, we are expecting rectangle method to return the value to the caller. So here you can see that we are passing length and width to this rectangle method and it will return out the area and parameter, which I'm printing over here. So let me run this program. So as you can see that the method return the value of these parameters and these parameters are accessible over here. Now, instead of out parameters, if I had taken these as normal parameters, in that case, I have to first assign these variables and if I run this, then the value of the variable return would be zero. Even though inside the method, the value of area and parameter were set, but as the parameters were passed as a value, the changes are not reflected to the actual variables. So that's why we use ref and out parameters. Now let's have a look at the basic differences that ref and out parameters have. So when using ref parameter, it is mandatory to initialize the parameter before passing. Otherwise the compiler will throw an error. While in case of out parameter, we don't need to initialize the variable as we just saw in the example that the variables were not initialized. 
Now inside the method, it is not must to assign a value to the ref parameter. We can assign a value if we want to, but it is not mandatory. But in case of out parameter, it is must to assign a value inside the method. Otherwise, compiler will throw an error as the out parameter is expected to return a value. That's why it is used. The third point relates to the second point that it may or may not modify the value. We cannot be sure. But in case of out parameter, we can be sure that it will definitely modify the value. And that's what it is used for. Now in the last point, for ref parameter, a method can read the value of the pass parameter because when ref parameter is used, we need to modify the value of the parameter and return back the change value to the caller. But in case of out parameter, we are expecting that the parameter is unassigned. So behind the scenes, ref and out both have the same implementation. The only difference is how the compiler tracks whether the variables are assigned or not. So to summarize this, we use ref and out parameters when we need to return back some value to the caller function. And ref and out have specific requirements like ref is used when we want to alter the value of a pass parameter and out parameter is used when we want the method to return something to us. So that's all about ref and out. Do let us know if you face any problem. I hope you like this video. If you want to watch videos on other topics, you can subscribe to our channel and you can also visit our site cheesycode.com. Thank you for watching.